Hey everyone, this is a video that is designed to help you get started on doing a science fair project. This is uh, basically for beginners. This is not a, an intermediate or an advanced science fair tutorial instructional video. This is for those who, uh, if you're a parent who may be helping a student do a science fair project for the first time, maybe in first, second, third, fourth, fifth grade, early, uh, or even elementary level science fair projects. So this is a video just to get you started. There's a lot of uh, Science Fair project ideas and instructions out there. This is just uh, just to get you started, give you a little bit of information on how to help your student. So the first part or the first step in a Science Fair project is choosing a topic and sometimes that can be the most difficult. And so here are a few um, tips or advice for starting or getting a topic for your Science Fair project. And the first thing you want to you want to find this one that's going to be interesting but I want to kind of add something to that. I want you to pick something, a topic, that is interesting to you. So if you're a student who's watching this video in a classroom or at home, find something that you're interested in. If it's sports, if it's music, if it's robots, if it's Legos, if it's something that you like to do, uh, then that's the topic that you want to do a science fair project on. If you like animals, plants, whatever it is that you like to do, that's the topic you want to choose because science fair project can get difficult, it can get tough and tiring, and so if it's something that you're really interested in, it's going to get you through those difficult times. And so you want to find something that not only will be interesting to others that you're sharing your project with or is, is looking at your science fair board, but do something that you're interested in. In addition to choosing a topic uh, that you're interested in, think about something that you're able to complete in the time that you're giving. So. Let's say you have a month to do a science fair project. You're probably not going to have time to grow any plants, especially if it's near the winter time. So let's say, let's say the science fair is February 8th. Probably not going to have uh, much time. Depend it depends on the plants, though. But most likely, you want to find something that you can do in a certain amount of time, even if it's just a couple of weeks, something that you can do in maybe a couple-day experiment so that you have plenty of time to not only do the experiment, but be able to reflect on the experiment and go through each step in the scientific method. And then after you choose your topic, you want to start, which is basically the first step in the scientific method, which is writing a question. Uh, but in your question, your question actually becomes a part of your title. So when you're writing a title for your project, you want to choose a title that reflects your topic and is in the form of a testable question, not just any question, but a testable question. We'll talk about that in just a minute. So an example of a question, this would be a title, and the title helps the viewer or whoever's looking at your project understand what it is that you're doing. What was your project about? So if you just say plants as a title, they don't really understand what that means. What were you doing with plants? So here would be an example of a question that you can do. Let me get my screen back. So here's an example of a question. How does the amount of caffeine affect the growth of a plant? That is a question that would be the title. And it's kind of long, so you might have to be creative in how you get that as a title for your uh, project board. But this would be an example of a title that you could do for your science board. Now I'm going to scroll ahead a little bit. Now this, we're going to look at that question a little bit more in detail. And so the question is not just a regular question. It's not just how do plants grow that's kind of a broad question. You want to be specific and not only specific but you want to measure something and then you want to see if something changes. So that's called a testable question. So a testable question is includes something that changes that also affects the results and then you measure something, something that can be measured. If you're measuring the height of something, if you're measuring, if you, let's say you're throwing or launching something, you're going to measure the distance or if you're seeing how something grows, you want to be able to measure it. And so let's say you're doing this plant question. How does the amount of caffeine affect the growth of a plant? In this case, you would have four cups of soil. And in each cup, there would be the same number of soil, same amount of soil, uh, same seed or same size seed. And then what's going to change is how much caffeine you're using to act as water. And you may even have one of those cups as water. And so you're having to see how much, so the water would be no caffeine. And then you may have the other three cups getting different amounts of caffeine. So everything pretty much stays the same. The only thing that's changing is the amount of caffeine. And then what you're measuring, which is this second part, the growth of a plant, you're measuring how it grows. Does it grow at all? 
Uh, of course, the water you hope it grows the most, but you want to see caffeine and how it's effect on plants. And so that would be what you're measuring. So a testable question has those two parts for uh, what you need to include. Something that you change, most everything's going to stay the same in your setup, but what you're changing is hopefully what's going to affect what you're measuring. So now would be a good time to think about what topic that you want to do, and then once you get your topic, practice writing the question. The question is what is going to drive the next steps of your science fair project. So if you pick your topic, write a question, find out, all right, what am I changing in it, and what am I measuring in it? So take some time now to pause this video or to um, practice writing a good testable question.